This is a two-part problem. It's a more difficult question. We have a bullet being fired into a wooden block. A bullet being fired into the wooden block. The wooden block rests um, on the edge of a table that is 1.2 meters high. The bullet embeds itself inside the wooden block and the bullet and block go sailing off the end and hit the ground four meters from uh, the edge of the, uh, from the edge of the table. So once it goes into the air, it goes it travels four meters and hits the ground. So that is a projectile question. So we're going to look at the, during and after the collision to resolve this. We are trying to determine the speed of the bullet before it hits the wooden block. Now I, I find it easiest to do these problems by labeling labeling the beforehand part one, the after part two, and then when it hits the hits over here, uh, that is uh, three. Just so we have some reference points here. So I'm looking at the velocity of the bullet apart at point one before it hits the block. Okay, well. To do that, we first look, you start out looking at, at the information that's given, which is after the collision. And after the collision, the range of this projectile, which has the bullet embedded in the block, is 4 meters. So delta x equals 4 meters. It goes off the table horizontally, therefore the vertical velocity is 0 initially. So what we have labeled in the past v sub 0 y, um, I'm going to just call it, or v y sub 0, this is going to be v at point, um, at point 2. So v 2, because it's at point 2, and the y axis is 0 when it leaves. What I, what I want to find is the velocity in the x axis at point two, just as it goes in the air, which is after the collision is over and done with. So what I want to find is V2x. Because if I find that, then that is the speed of the system after the collision. It's a perfectly inelastic collision. So come in over here for a second, then I'll go back there. You know that beforehand, the, the momentum at point one before the collision equals the momentum at point two after the collision. This beforehand is the momentum of the bullet at point one plus the momentum of the wooden block, W for wood, wooden block at point one. And then they combine in a perfectly inelastic collision, stick together, so don't separate them out. That's where that comes from. Well, this is zero because the wooden block is initially at rest. This is the mass of the bullet, which is given as 12 grams, times the velocity of the bullet at point one, which is what we're looking for. We're looking for that. So that's the goal of this. And that will equal, well, they get stuck together, so you add up the bullet plus the uh, wooden block times their velocity at point two. So I need to find that. You know, well, here's the deal. That, the velocity with which this goes off the edge horizontally, is that, which is the initial velocity in the x-axis of the projectile. Projectile fire apart horizontally. How are we going to find that? Delta x equals v sub 0 x, which in this case is v 2 x, times t. And there's no acceleration in the x-axis for a projectile, right? Ignoring air resistance, which is not a bad assumption here. So we just have to find time. We know delta x is 4. Find time in the y-axis, just like before. Delta y equals v 2y, that's where it goes into the air initially, times t, 
plus a half times the vertical acceleration times t squared. Well, that is equal to zero because it goes off horizontally at zero. This is negative, where is it? Negative 1.2 equals 1 half negative 9.8 t squared. You solve for t, solve for t squared and take the square root. And that is 0 0.495 seconds. 0 0.495 seconds. Put that in over here. 4 meters equals v2 times 0 0.495. So divide that to the other side, and you get that the velocity in the x-axis at point 2 is, what did I get? 8.1 meters per second. 8.1 meters per second. Well, guess what? Because it's launched completely in the x-axis, that is v2. So that's that number right there. Again, that number right here, 8.1, is that number. So now we can solve this. 12 grams, you have to be in kilograms because this is in kilograms. So 0 0.012 kilograms. VB1 equals 0 0.012 plus the mass of the block. Wooden block is 1.5 kilograms. 1.5 times that velocity. 8.1. And that equals, let me see, when we do this math right here, and I have 12.25 uh, divided by that mass, giving us 1,021 meters per second. <laughs> That's moving. So that's the speed of the bullet before it hit the block.